This video is part of a series introducing our new Visual Takeoff 6 software. If you've not done so already, you might consider watching the VTO6 overview video before watching this video. In this video, I will focus on the Sheet Manager, which is the window you will use to add drawings and make adjustments to those drawings in the project. When you first launch Visual Takeoff 6 for an estimate, the plan list, of course, is empty. The Add Plans button, located at the top of this window, will allow you to add plans to your estimate. Clicking the Add Plans button will open this file browser window. Then simply browse to where you've downloaded the drawings to and select them. I have a sample drawing saved here, colorplans.pdf, that I'll bring into this estimate. Colorplans.pdf is a four-page PDF file. For multiple page files, VTO6 loads the pages into a folder automatically. You do not need to leave the pages in this folder, however. You can create your own custom folders, which I'll talk about in a moment. All the other options in the Sheet Manager are accessible by right-clicking a drawing. As you can see, there are many options in the right-click menu. Before we go through the list of options, notice a few of them are grayed out, or disabled. These options work against all selected pages, pages that you've placed a check in its checkbox. All the menu options that work this way have the word selected in their name. Set Scale, as you might have guessed, allows you to set the scale for this page. The scale window lists all of the common imperial and metric scales. You can now set which scales you use frequently by clicking the star. These starred scales always sort to the top of the list. You can also take off a known length to set a custom scale using the Take Off Scale button. Useful for drawings that have been reduced or modified, making their scale now unknown or non-standard. If you happen to have a metric drawing, selecting a metric scale not only causes the plan to scale correctly, this also changes your size and thickness options, and the detail view displays meters instead of feet. On the mic side, you can still set up your estimate to be an imperial if you like, and Mike will automatically convert your takeoff from feet to meters for these drawings. As has been the case with Visual Takeoff since version 1, you can change the plan scale after completing the takeoff, and Visual Takeoff 6 will automatically correct your measurements to reflect the corrected scale. The Rotate Plan tool works much like it does in VTO5. You have the option to rotate 90 degrees left or right, as well as an option to rotate the plan by taking off a line you wish to be horizontal. You also now have the ability to rotate any takeoff or markups that you have already completed on the page. I'll use the Horizontal Align option on this page to align the building. Dock to Main opens and redocks the plan into the main plan view area. Useful for those times when you may have accidentally dragged the plan off the screen and are having trouble dragging it back into view. Rename allows you to rename pages and folders. I'll rename page 3 to its actual plan name. Add Overlay and Move to Revision are useful when dealing with plan revisions. To properly cover these two features in detail, I'll save them for a separate video. VTO6 now has several ways to exclude takeoff from the estimate, useful when you're asked to provide bid alternates. One of the new exclude options is by sheet. Checking Exclude from Bid, here, will exclude this page entirely from the estimate. Copy Sheet allows you to duplicate a page, including any takeoff, notes, or highlights. You could use this option to make a copy of a typical floor, for example, or perhaps copy a page before making changes to the takeoff. You could use the Exclude from Bid option to, in effect, switch your estimate between original takeoff and the new copied and modified takeoff. Move Selected Plans allows you to create a custom folder and move drawings into them. For example, you might set up a folder for HVAC pages and a separate folder for plumbing pages. As I mentioned earlier in the video, 
The menu options with selected in their name require you to first select pages by placing a check in their select checkbox. These menu options are disabled if no plans have been selected. So you start by selecting some or all of the pages to be moved to the new folder. Then right click and select move selected pages from the menu. Type in the new folder name or select an existing folder if you've created one previously. Then hit move plans. And here is our new folder containing the plans that we had selected. Delete selected pages works much the same way. You first select the pages or folders to be deleted, then right click and select delete selected pages. This will permanently delete the page as well as any takeoff or markups you've added to the page. So be careful using this option. And remember, you can always use the exclude from bid option instead if there's a chance you might actually need this page later. And finally, the print and export options. All three work exactly the same way to give you marked up field copies of the plans in the estimate in either paper printouts, PDF files, or TIFF files. Regardless of the output format you choose, you have four ranging options. This page will only print or export the page you right-clicked. Selected pages will only print or export the pages you've placed a check in the selected checkbox, just like the delete and move options we talked about earlier. Pages with takeoff will print or export only pages that you've added takeoff to in effect skipping the index page, the title pages, and plans outside of your scope. All pages will print or export every page in the project. Thank you for watching and remember to look for other videos in this series.